If it's a winter that we have uh, over two feet of snow in the woods, 60 centimeters, then we book the, the helicopter and we go fly our our deer yard, our known deer yard in the management units. We go fly them with the helicopter to locate the deer, which area of the deer yard they're using. And we take a look at other deer yard that they might uh, use outside of management unit also. So tell me a little bit about that. What happened? Uh Last couple of weeks, you went up in a helicopter, and what did you do? Last last week, we did we we flew the deer yard because we had a big uh, a big snowstorm. So we wait one week so the deer can travel a little bit, and after that, we flew the deer yard and we we mapped all the where the deer were using. We use a few grades. We use a severe severe use, moderate use, and light use, and we color the map accordingly with the GPS where the area where the deer are using. And what do you do with that data? We use that data, we put that in the computer, in a the, in the shape file, uh, so we can compare it from here to here, which area they're using, and if we have to modify our deer yards or add uh, new ones, we can look at that data. And so how does that information affect your management plan? When we uh, after the management is done, then we can prescribe special cuts in the deer yards. Like every time we go and uh, do a cut in a deer yard, I have to go cruise it prior and decide what, what type of cut we're going to do in there to favor the deer. And we do special, special cuts like uh, uh, strip cuts to create edge, which the deer like. So they provide food. And also these cuts, they are time in the in the winter between January and March so the deer can favor uh, the food that the harvesting provide when they, they, they bring the trees, uh, they delimb the trees. This year is a pretty good year. Uh, we've been at the last two winter were very mild so the population is doing very good and we were impressed by the number of deer we were seeing in, in the helicopters and we found new deer yard too, so we call them satellites deer yard. So we're going to have to redraw the map a little bit to, to take care of them. They are early mornings, but the payoff is spending time in the woods, or above them. I've walked a lot of miles and set up hundreds of conservation zones for plants and wildlife, but there's always new ground to cover. When I'm training our foresters to recognize orchids and bird habitats, I'm helping to keep the balance between the jobs we do and the nature we want to protect here in New Brunswick. That's why I'm with JDI.